A German vocalist in New York is a force to be reckoned with in the jazz world there. Theo Blackman sings on the great stages, like New York's Lincoln Center. But he's far from mainstream. Who is this man who's made such a name for himself in the Big Apple? Scores have tried to succeed under the bright lights of the big city. Blackman moved to New York 20 years ago, and he did it his way. I always try to do things that I find a little intimidating. Things that I look at and think, it's terrible, I'll never make this work. That's what makes a project interesting. If it's too easy, nothing much develops. Dann passiert auch sehr wenig. It takes courage for an unknown German vocalist to go to the jazz center of the world, a place teeming with competition. But Blechmann's unusual projects caught people's attention. And if only I could, I'd make a deal with God. Now he's taken on the music of Kate Bush. It wasn't enough for Blechmann to simply cover her songs. He reinterprets them in completely new ways, supported by his own arrangements and huge vocal range. Blechmann has already been nominated for a Grammy and won the German Echo Prize. His sound, which combines elements of electronic, chanson and jazz, thrills both critics and a broad audience. Come on, come on, darling, let's exchange the experience. If people actually come to a concert, they end up pleased. But some people are too afraid. So I'm careful about using words like experimental and avant-garde. Those words are intimidating. And I think my music is very accessible. But there's no denying he experiments with notes and sounds all around him, horns from a Chinese shop. Everything finds its way into his compositions. Seeking out and finding something distinctive is the only way to thrive in the New York music scene. One way to survive here is to take your own path. It's practically impossible to survive by copying others, because someone will always notice. It all comes down to you. It's really tough, and that's been good for me. He adores the hustle and bustle of the city that never sleeps. Everything's in constant motion. There's no time to stand still. It's quite a contrast to Blechmann's home in Germany's Münsterland region. Blechmann originally came to the United States for vocal training. Since then, he has put feelers out in many directions. He even created alien noises for Steven Spielberg. Sheila Jordan, a well-known jazz singer, is another reason why he came to New York. She's been both a mentor and a friend for many years. Theo's a pioneer, you know. I was a pioneer, you know. But that's because, and usually what happens when you're a pioneer, they don't accept you right away. You know what I mean? They don't accept you. I mean, they say, whoa, what are they kidding, you know? Or what's going on, you know? And, uh, and you have to stick by what you believe in. There. Yeah. And then right there. Theo Blackman likes working with musicians who, like himself, are difficult to categorize. Artists who are both curious and well-grounded. Music isn't just an exercise to me, some impressive trick that makes me seem interesting. It's something that arises in the moment, with the people, in the room, and then only exists for that moment. Let me cry. 